the kids to sleep. Be very, very interesting. All you need to do is just watch the video to the end so you see what I mean. Alright, let's get cooking. <laughs> so today I'm going to start with washing the ripe plantain or green plantains. Anyone you would like to call it. And setting them on the tray for cutting. Cutting the plantain open with the use of a knife. You need to be very careful here because the back of a ripe plantain is usually very thick and tough to remove. This ripe plantain is fresh and straight from the farm. It has no sugar yet and it is also low in calories. So I'm going to cut them into this size you are looking at right now. You can cut yours smaller. For me, this size is okay. So I am through and this is the quantity of a ripe plantain that I'm going to cook. Alright, I'll pour it into the pot and pour some water. Adding salt according to the quantity of plantain you're cooking. Seasoning cubes of your choice. I'm adding just two cubes. Giving it a stir for the even distribution of the seasonings. And tasting to know if they are enough. I think it's perfect. Right now I'm going to turn on the cooker. And cover the lid and allow the plantain to cook. Right now, I'm going to mix a lukewarm water of about for 7 degrees Celsius for dry fish soaking and washing. Yes, I'm using dry fish in this recipe. Dry catfish, precisely. You can use any dry fish of your choice. There are varieties of dry fish in the market. Or you can even replace them with other proteins like cow skin chicken or even add all together with the fish anyhow you want just feel free for me in this recipe dry fish is okay as usual i'll wash the fish and remove the bones opening the lid the level of water in the pot has reduced to the depth of the pot so this time i'll have to pour the washed dry fish stir a little and close the lid allow to cook for a few minutes now i'm going to add what um Igbos call opaka or oba depending on the dialect the english name is um african or you been seed the botanical name is pentacleta macrophylla i hope i pronounced it well <laughs> crayfish two tablespoons this will be enough. Please, I need your thumbs up to proceed. <laughs> One medium sized diced onion, adding it to the pot. Ground scotch bonnet pepper. Two tablespoons of palm oil. You can add more than that if you like having enough oil in your food. For me, these two spoons are more than enough. I am not an oil fan. So I'm going to give it a good stir. The aroma of this food has already started looking for trouble. <laughs> I'm going to lower the heat here. Have you liked my video yet? Please like or uh, uh, else. <laughs> so I'm staring for even distribution of the ingredients. For every bite to have the same taste, this recipe requires lots of stirring. So I need to taste. Now I will have to add Nigerian pumpkin leaves or ugu. There, 
If you love abacha, African salad, you would definitely love this recipe. Adding more ugu, more stirring, stir, stir, stir. <laughs> now it's ready. I call it a right plantain salad. Very delicious. You need to try this recipe and add it to your family menu. Now I'm going to dish it out and serve. This is it. Wow. Now this is the best part. This is eating with clean bare hands. Yes. If you don't use your bare hands, you will not enjoy it. Like this video and write your address in the comment section so that I can send this food to you. <laughs> So, in the next recipe, I'm going to peel the back of the ripe plantain exactly as I did in the first recipe. But this time, I'm going to cut the ripe plantain into tiny pieces, tiny sizes. As you can see, here it is. Beautiful. So I'm going to add one medium sized onion, a handful of crayfish, two pieces of green habanero pepper, three pieces of tatashi or chili bell pepper, and one piece of ogirio bay. Pour some water, cover the lid, into the blender, and blend. Luckily, there is electricity today, so I'm using the blender. Now I'm going to pour the ripe plantain into the pot. And the blend of onion, tashi, crayfish, green habanero pepper, and ogiro bay. Pour some water that will be at the level of plantain or a little bit above and stir just on the surface to avoid burning add two seasoning cubes one tablespoon of salt dried catfish washed and deboned One tablespoon of palm oil, one tablespoon is enough, one tablespoon is enough. Close the lid and allow to cook for some minutes. Now I'm going to add the Uziza leaves, also known as false kubeb leaves. About four to five leaves are okay to give the food a rich flavor instead of overpowering it. So I'm going to stir and close the lid and allow it to cook for some minutes finally i'm going to add the nigerian pumpkin leaves as always also known as ugu oh my gosh the aroma of this food is heavenly it's divine you need to try these recipes you will definitely like eating green plantains i promise Hope you have liked this video. Please feel free to share, comment, and subscribe. This food is keto friendly, low in calories, highly nutritious, and your kids are going to love this recipe. So I'm giving it a good stir for even distribution of the ingredients. Wow! So thank you for watching. Please kindly tell me what you think in the comment section. See you soon. Bye-bye.